now in my hand a Barcon dual arm uh, TV bracket supporting TVs from 15 uh, to 29 inches. Um, so it's available with free delivery directly from freetv.ie. And um, Barcon, just briefly, is a brand name product. It's probably the largest supplier of TV brackets in the world. It's a huge range, put an awful lot of effort into its design and specifications. And it supplies some of the largest retailers in the world directly. For example, in America, it has all of the TV brackets for Walmart, for instance. So we find them good to deal with, and they have good products at competitive prices. And um, the, you know, the design element they put in here really pays off. So what I'm going to show here very briefly is um, uh, what, what exactly we're getting. So we have the bracket itself. So it's made up basically of two parts. The part of the lamp directly onto the wall and the part that matches onto the television. You combine the two of those together and then you have your television successfully mounted. Um, it comes in this outer box here and it's a, it's a dual arm. And the reason we call this is that we'll just look at all the points of rotation on this. So the first thing to look at here is the part that mounts directly onto the wall has a 180 degree rotation here, right? At the end of this arm here, it rotates again, another 180 degrees. And then the final part, which holds the bracket for the TV, a further 180 degree rotation. So I'm just gonna open it out fully here so you can see the full impact. So it was coming straight out like this. And what we have here is the bracket that's actually for the TV itself. So it's mounted upwards like this. And then there's a little resting bay here, it drops down out. And then we have the screws after we mount them together, and I'll show how to do that in a few moments. So when you go to mount this directly onto the wall, what we'll do is we'll hold the bracket up against the wall, we mark out the three points we're going to bank off of here, here, and here. Then we come back, we drill our holes, follow professional advice in relation to that, depending on whether it's a masonry or a slab timber wall. And we'll normally insert our plugs here, and then what we'll do is insert our screws and screw in using our Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so effectively at that point, we have a bracket mounted on the wall, we're mounting it like this, and we can use our covers here, we can slide them back on, it clips over and it hides the screws and gives it a thing. So these are entirely uh, cosmetic, but they do give a nice professional finish to your mounting. Okay, if you're trying to mount this. And when it's not in use, as tight to the wall as possible, you can actually run the, the dual arm this way and just the final part of it will take 90 degrees. So you have a bracket that's only sticking out from the wall, probably only about two inches or so, right? Um, so the next thing we'll do here is we'll just rotate this and we'll talk about the actual bracket that's going to go on the back of the television. So all televisions in the world follow the Visa standard and the most common on small ones is 100 by 100. So it's 100 millimeter center from here to here. So when we Pick up our television, we'll put it face down on our table and um, with the top here and what we'll do is we'll drop this bracket directly onto it like this and we'll use our screws, we have a choice of three different sizes here so it will normally be uh, the larger ones or medium sized ones and we can screw directly in here using our Phillips screwdriver and once we're finished putting in all four screws, if you actually pick up the bracket now, it'll lift the television with it. So we have a scenario there where we have our television mounted. The next thing we want to go to is actually mounting this onto the bracket itself. So there's just one um, step we need to take at this point here. And if we look here, on the top here, there's a locking mechanism. So I'm just going to pull off both of these like this. And what we have here is with bolts. I won't insert it already. But with the bolts, what we'll do is we just look here and we can insert them directly in. Now, if I try to put it at an angle, it won't go in. But if I line it up exactly square, it'll slide directly in here. So I'm just going to do it here and come back to you in a second. There, and we just slide it down directly in. You can see how it go in there. It line up the holes, and then we have something to screw directly into. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to uh, reinsert these onto our um, TV bracket, and we'll repeat the process on the far side. And what we have there is, sorry, um, doing this backwards. Apologies. That's it. So we have it here again. And what we'll do here is. We drop our television onto the bracket directly like this. It sits in. These holes line up. And what we'll do now is we'll actually come along and we'll grab our bolt and washer. Insert it in here. Screw it in here. Repeat the same process on the far side. And now we have it. And we adjust the tilt angle that we're looking for. And then we just lock it into position there and just tighten this in further. So it, afterwards then, it's reasonably secure in terms of it's in a fixed position, but with a little bit of force, we can adjust the tilt angle on it. So what you'll see with all these, and it's the deliberate design of these things here, all of these mechanisms in here are stiff. 
and it's stiff so it holds its position but if you apply a little bit of pressure you can expand it and twist it around and that's standard really with all TV brackets here it has just a nice balance here between the stiffness and the rigidity that we're looking for so overall I would say something like this is giving a lot of flexibility there's a single arm version of it here but it doesn't have the same level of extension out and the long extension out can be very advantageous we're putting this TV in a corner and we're trying to extend it out and then we have the option where we can actually then rotate it to an angle something like this so where a lot of the weight is going um, and it's giving us exactly what we want in terms of range okay so that's it anyway an overview of the bar can dual arm TV and uh, mountain bracket it's covering TVs from 15 to 29 inches and it's available free delivery directly from freetv.ie